world, y'all. Y'all are flame. About to come in the club with IMG. My brothers are finna take y'all bitches. <laughs> yeah, oh, come on. Bella, yeah. with the screen when I ain't told. About shit, BBG represent her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need a section and some ones. Nah. And a crew of boss niggas, no thugs. No. no. <laughs> We ain't worried about none. Hey. Fuck nigga, we ain't worried about none. Huh. We don't need no security. Uh-uh. I'm G in the motherfucking building. I'm a yeah. female shot caller, top listed author. People say I'm cute and bossy. Yeah. Worry about the money, never worry about a bitch. Go brace off, lip, thick ass and hips. One shot, two, three shot, four. It's Bell of Flame, baby, ready for woe. Got a whole lot of bands that I'm ready to throw. Spin a check, sit down, and just hit the dough. Got these bands in my hand for a bitch that's bad. Watch, watch, watch. Shout out to Bella. Shout out to Bella Bella. Some of those independent artists, we gonna start pushing y'all around a little bit. Let y'all get some of this little airtime. That's right. You that's know, right. You know, it's the Shannon Jackman Show, and I'm here Sunday, fun day. Happy Easter to those that are out there. I shall be Easter egg hunting, going around, because I like eating eggs off the ground. Really? Yeah, that's when they good for some fucking reason. I'm like, why um, do the eggs taste better coming off the ground? Because I, I could boil an egg the day and don't want that shit. I'm like, well, just, I just let it I, sit in there. It's the chase. It's the it's chase. The cha- it's, it's the, the chase. whole thing about finding right, them. Right, right. And um, the colors, the, the pink egg, right. blue egg, red egg, right. yellow egg. You know, I, I, I like that. It's you something know. about the chase, man. It's, it is. It's, it, well, everybody loves chasing shit. Right, you right. know, so to have to go out and go find something, right. that's even more interesting. You feel like you have accomplished something. And don't go find the golden egg. Oh, you really <laughs> Really, you really turn up. You know, the golden egg got money in it, right. got gifts with it. It has just everything that uh, is about finding something, right, you know. Right. So yeah. I um, I guess that's part of, you know, the ritual that, that it is, you right. know, because, um, you know, the, Jesus has risen. That's this right. one of my um, Easter speech that I remember. <laughs> it, um, it says, uh, Jesus has risen, happy and sound. Tell the good news the whole world around. <laughs> I remember that being one of my parts that I had to say. I think they passed that around to everybody. I, oh, for real? I had the same speech. Oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> I'm thinking they done gave me some real deal. Nah, you know, that's a, that's a, Jesus, that's real. That's real sound. Tell the good news the whole world around. So that's a generic that's speech. That's a generic ass speech. Ooh, they get all the children. That, uh, uh, see, see how we done been indoctrinated to we all said the same Easter right. speech. Jesus has rich and happy his son. Now you at home practicing that shit <laughs> you for sure two you, weeks. You want to make sure you get it right. You trying to say it and you get it. All you can think about is my pretty little dress I got on. <laughs> These J- Jermaine Dupri ruffle socks. You know, I got the ruffles around my ankle. Oh, you shit. know, um, not the Jermaine Dupri ruffles. The Jermaine Dupri socks. <laughs> you know, that what they done turned into. They ain't, they ain't the uh, Easter fluffy socks no more. They're the Jermaine Dupri socks. Okay, okay. Louis Vuitton version. <laughs> you know, I'm like ah, Louis Vuitton. Ah. Man, come on. <laughs> you, you saying that like you yeah, made that shit cute? <laughs> no. No, we didn't like that. Hey, we we I, didn't like that. I liked how when that was going down, everybody wanted to claim Usher's performance as Atlanta, but they didn't want to claim. But then want to claim the rain to be and, and he 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 is Atlanta. If it wasn't for him, it wouldn't be no Usher. Right. But we got on the church socks, you know. And I'm like, come on, we got on the Jermaine Dupri socks today. Everybody got their little cute socks in. Right, right. The little boys got on their little suits, suits and you know they shiny preachers with the shiny suit on right. and Deacon with the shiny suit on. Shark skin on. suit. You know, everybody got on these suits, you know, and they getting <laughs> dressed up for this Easter thing, you know, and and, and I, I'm not I'm not knocking Easter. Right. But I was trying to figure out uh, how is the day, because I need y'all church folk to tell me now. Right. What was, how is it different days? Right. You know, so I'm like, okay, so the day is Easter 331. Uh-huh. I remember in 2014 going to Colorado, uh, what it was, a cannabis cup uh-huh. competition, and Easter was on 420. Uh-huh. So, okay, and then I remember it being on my niece's birthday, 404. Right. right. You know, so I'm like, okay. Why so is it not the same day? Why not the same day if he risen on Easter? Right. You know, so 
So I went to digging a little bit, just me, you know, being the conspired thinker <laughs> that I am. As aspired. <laughs> aspired. Conspired and aspired <laughs> to know what the truth is. And and it, and it came about about a moon cycle. Okay. So it's when this certain moon comes about. Okay. Um, is the day that Easter falls on. Okay. So okay. I'm like, okay, so if we we if we going by this um moon situation, ain't that kind of ritualic like rich kind of ritual like? Yeah, <laughs> a pagan. Yeah, a little, little bit. bit little you know, the, ain't that a little 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 worshiping thing? Yeah, yeah, you know that. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, we got this bunny rabbit. Right. We got I just want to know what the eggs. eggs and the bunny rabbit have to do with it. See, but it can only mean fertility. Okay. And this just me speaking. Okay. Because I could be all the way wrong, right. which I probably do be most of the time. Right, right. But maybe <laughs> but, not. But maybe not. Okay. You know, so we got Rebirth. this bunny rabbit, and then we got these eggs. Uh-huh. You know, so we fertilizing, and we um, rabbits have a lot of babies. Okay. You know, they hopping all around, and they like to mate. So we got Feb. Where we at right now is March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Mm-hmm. So we almost in a nine month cycle. Cycle, okay. A baby. Okay. Made I get you. The day, the okay. egg, fertilization. Okay. You know that's rebirth. That's born again. Yeah, okay. So uh, we we can see um on this day. Okay. You know, and it's just me thinking. You okay. know, I could be wrong to be born on Christmas Day to make it into December. That's what it is. So that's just me. Okay. Always thinking. It you sounds know, right. It, it it you know, and I'm like, okay, so the day we make the baby, and then around Christmas uh. time we got the baby. Yeah. See, if I was playing Hollywood Squares or Celebrity Squares. I'll be like, I agree. <laughs> you agree? Okay, it sounds good. Okay, so I'm on to something, you know. Right, so, right. So I might not be all the way off, and I can be all the way wrong again. <laughs> but I just like to think about things that uh, others don't think about, and maybe somebody do think like this, right. you know, and it may have had this conversation, may have been had. Right. You know, so that's kind of fishy to me. Okay. You know, just, uh, you know, not much as fishy. But just a little lining up, okay. You know, just okay. going by if we if if we go by the months, if we go by the timing, if we go by what we know or okay. see or you know, and not just what we heard and learned. Uh-huh. You know, maybe these are um maybe this has a little something to do with something. Okay, you know what I'm saying. So okay. that's just me on my little conspiracy side, you know, or my overthinking, or yeah. had a blunt or two ago, you know. <laughs> <laughs> So, right. so I don't know, you know, so I wish somebody would tell me more and y'all can call in 678-740-9894 and I know y'all don't like to log off right. to have this conversation, but, um, you know, you can call in and say something or even type it in, you know, right. we can read it and we can go from there. If you think that I'm on to something or if you just say, Shan, shut the hell up, right. you know, I, I will, I let it go, <laughs> you know, I, I don't have no problem sitting the fuck down, you know. <laughs> Well, the first, the, the the one time that I did go to church for Easter, and I did, I, because I, I've always been been not worried, but you know, confused about what the eggs have to do with it. Right. So we went to church. My grandmother took me to church, and she was not a church goer. So don't let me get y'all give y'all the impression that right. my, my grandma or my great grandma was saying. I don't that. think my great grandma. Grandma ever even mentioned Jesus. <laughs> right, 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 right. But she was a hard, strong woman, you know what I'm saying? She right, moved right. from Chicago from Mississippi. So, you know, you had some church got it's kinda like go with the flow. Oh, right, you right. Know, you know, she had some, do some, it. some 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 hardness about her, so she wasn't with she wasn't about that life. Right. At all. Church right. no, nah, she wasn't. My about grandma that. was about that nah, life. My great- Sunday school teacher. No. Nah. Wednesday. My great grandmother, my grandmother and my great great grandmother, uh-huh. who I had the pleasure of knowing. Was not about that life. Well, not they didn't believe in life. none of that. They, really? They, I think my great great grandmother had an issue with it because she was born in eighteen eighteen um what was eighteen seventy. Okay. So when she was born, she died in eighteen. She died in nineteen eighty four. Okay. The problem that she had with it was she she was during the time she was born during the time when. You know, white folks trying to get into crossover to right you know, to so, Christianity, and, I, and, and she was always telling stories about living in Mississippi, uh, being back in that time, and how hard difficult it was. Right, right. And, and her parents were actually from West Africa. Okay, and okay. She was always saying, you know, we was, you know, we didn't do, we don't we know right, nothing about do none this. of so this. She didn't really get with the program back then, you know, and I, and I, 
you know, she told a lot of stories about it, but they're kind of, you know, she didn't really, when she told stories about certain things, mm -hmm. she always just told it to the women folk. Okay. Like, if I was in the room and she started getting deep into the story, she, I don't know why she would do that. Put y'all out. She would always say, man folk got to get out of okay, here. Okay, okay. Right, and she would say it just like that. All the men folk got get to go. Because she was blind. Right, she right. She all the men folk got to go. Okay. And they hush us out of there. So, I don't know why she would never want to tell us the stories, but I think it was more of black women right, growing up in Mississippi during those times. Right. How, how, I mean, you got to think about how much time she it spread out, 114 years, okay. and how much she saw. Okay. Civil rights, all that. Right, you know, right, uh, you know, right. So, so it was a difficult time. I mean, right. I guess it was just difficult vision of different things. So she never, never really wanted to tell, tell the men about it. But anyway, they wasn't about that life. Right. So the first time I went to church with my grandmother just off of, Something my uncle then was trying to do. Uh -huh. I asked the pastor. Oh, I said, okay. "Hey, what the eggs? You know, got I, to do with it. You, you have to. If you knew me when I was younger, you know my mouth was, my Uncut. mouth was unfilled. Right, right. <laughs> what, what are we doing with these eggs? <laughs> I was the most. I was a terror. Right. But anyway, I would ask, and my grandma said, "You don't ask that." I said, "I, I just want to know, you right? But then I want to know why, why we, why are we looking for eggs on Easter if it's rebirth? You know, if it's Jesus reborn, re, re, you know, the return of Christ." He never answered the question because she kind of hushed, shushed me away. But I really wanted to know, right? And I never got that question answered. And the pre preachers never answer those type of questions. <laughs> that's why they were like, "Don't question God. No, yeah. you don't want me to question you. Right? You know, right. that's what you don't want. You so don't want I, me to ask." I always wanted to know, but they know they know. I never got that answer. And now that I'm old, this really doesn't matter anymore. But back then, when I was a child, I Those wanted to know. The, wanted to know, yeah, and still do. Cause you my know? my best friend's mama was about that church. Life. Yeah, they 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 can. You can get some folk who be dead serious, right. and, and gone crazy for it. Right, you know, so right. I I understand it because I was I grew up in it all the way okay. until now. You know, I uh -huh. kind of changed that. And my mom, she um recently got out not got out of church mm -hmm. but got out of that whole let me do this let's go every sunday thing you know mm -hmm. and thanks to covid shout out to co not TV, the, shout out to dovic right Divo divok divok that's it <laughs> shout out to divok right. you know that um made a lot of more people sit down and not be bothered with right, it you right. know so um so you know easter is um it's 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 something, you know, and I'm th and you know I don't want nobody to think that I don't believe in Jesus Christ and that who who he was, you know. Um, it's just some of the stories that we've been told just don't make a little sense, you know. Right. And then the image that they have given us for years, I'm just not digging that no more either. Right, you y'all right. just gone with this blonde hair stuff. <laughs> You know, okay, let well, that go. You know, they say that the Russian president Vladimir Putin I saw opened that. the boats. I saw that. the boats of all the I art saw from that. back in that I, day. I actually saw the YouTube yeah. of those images, and they're all, all black. black. Right. They are all black. Right. You know, the sitting at the meal, the last meal. Yeah. You know, from sitting to, from just from everything that we was told was not in the image of a white man. Mm -hmm. In Russia, mm -hmm. you know, so I'm like, shout out to Poon for letting it be known right. that hey. we were the, the images that they really painted, mm -hmm. you know, and there, I wouldn't see no reason why they would make false paintings right. and, 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 and of the uh, capacity they have because they have many images of black, strong black That's Biblical uh -huh. images, you especially know? in Russia, where it's ninety nine percent white. Right, right, but but these people are over here showing pictures of black mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. images, and then they want to say, well, it was the lighting, you know, the the, the color of the paintings, paint, they faded dark, but ain't no way they faded dark just on our skin. The right. other rest of the picture got red, right. got this, right. all the colors look the, good except for. Right. Our faces. So the, it's always an excuse. They right? got to be an excuse. They keep. They got to keep us not believing in ourselves right. as who were first. You know. Right. So I just wish that we could all come. You know, really, would talk the real thing. Right. You know. So we we'll never know the truth on those things. So you know, since we got on Easter, let's get on Diddy. You know, <laughs> is this shit real? What he got going on? You know. Uh, Right. You know, I, I hate to be the person to jump on what's happening, but what's happening is what's happening. Right. And, um, you know, we all know his home got raided, this, that, and the other. But my question to the people, and even to you, Lab, would you, if, okay, would you go to a party that he hosts now? Or would, 
and would you have went before you knew what you know now? I would have went before I knew what I knew now. If I if I if I didn't know that he was having all these types of parties the, at the party, it was getting stupid like right, that. Right, right. I wouldn't go. You know, but for somebody to go now, right, that knows about this, this, right. you know, and I wouldn't think that he would have a party now, right, in the capacity that he used to have it right. in. You know, but the, if you went now, now you want to, now you want to be, <laughs> you, wanna be you now you want it. You yeah. know, you know, now you want it. You right. know. Um, I would have went prior. Like if I didn't know, I would have went. Yeah, I would have went because I would have been. Ha- I would have been happy to be there. Yeah, right. You know, I would have been ecstatic. Let's, I'm finna go to Diddy party. <laughs> said she would have go now and then. Exactly. <laughs> right. Right. I want to go now so I can see what's going on. I'm gonna play the play, you know, and, and I might might end up sucking a dick or two. You know, hopefully, I get this Shannon Jack me show to pop off. <laughs> Sunday fun day. <laughs> Sunday fun day will be on the on TV, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Go on and turn up for real. You know, a lot of people be bullshitting. Yeah, right. And y'all y'all be saying that, you know, on live, but I know in the back of y'all head, y'all really won't won't wish that this that could it happen be. to you. I wish I was never why the fuck I ain't never get invited to the party, you know? <laughs> You are right. You are dead right. So I know y'all are right. flexing. Somebody, I, I wouldn't go to dinner party. Yeah, you will. Yeah, you would. You, you would now, and too. still now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you going to get the best drugs. Right. You going to eat some good food. Right, right. You know, but you just might have to bend over for the wrong person. You know, I don't know. That's what had you to know. stop. The party had to stop. And, and, and it sounded like they were doing more men than women, oh, so I might be safe. Allegedly. So they, allegedly, <laughs> it was what they were saying that he, you know things like that happen you know so it ain't no truth to it right now you know but we listen to the stories and we think we got the facts uh-huh. and we think we know it all just because we watch these um videos and these little snippets of things that uh-huh. people that the internet has gathered together right and uh put what they want us to see because we don't know you know we really don't know for a fact but just know if I was to get an invitation, I'm going. I'm going to be there. <laughs> right. Right. You know, right? But what you ain't got to worry about, shout out to Evan Vision, what you ain't got to worry about is me telling. <laughs> see, you don't need no NDR. See, I don't need that. You know, see, that's what's wrong with people. Y'all talk too goddamn. <laughs> just get the check and shut up. Yeah, right, you know what I'm saying? Right. There's a lot of people that have been getting the checks. And they got their mouth quiet. Shout out to Bentley Funds work. You know, I ain't trying <laughs> to put him out there. He ain't showed up nowhere, did he? I wouldn't. I'm straight. <laughs> what I'm going to go try to tell against the shit for now? Ain't no need me doing that. Right. You know, ain't no need me trying to say, yeah, hey, yeah, we was doing it. We was, you know, I was holding the umbrella up for him. And he, you know, I was the girl and he was the guy. You know, I wouldn't say nothing about that. Right. Because I'm checked up. I'm right. checked up. You're I ain't good nobody, to go. Don't nobody know what I ain't been seen no more. You, ain't, you know, I'm straight. I'm I'm living in the life without the life. Right. You know, and, and that's what <laughs> that's probably what happens with him. You know, because I ain't heard him say nothing. She say she gonna ride with you and she ain't telling. Yes, you shit. we we ain't telling nothing. <laughs> ain't nobody saying nothing about nothing. Y'all right. talk too much. You know, what I'm saying y'all trying to sue the man and right and and, and get a check and some publicity. They want to tell the story. See, I got a story to tell too. But I ain't telling it. You know, unfortunately, the checks never got delivered right. to the house. You right. know, I, my bank account still don't show, but I got stories to tell too. You know, so don't get it twisted. But right. yeah, I be I be pulling up. You know, I be pulling up trying to see what's going, going on. on. You know, I gotta check the scene, see what was really happening. You know, so they asked me to do something wild. It ain't nothing I ain't done before. <laughs> I mean, y'all acting like y'all ain't, not, you know, I know a lot of y'all people. Y'all done did it for a lot less. See, y'all done done shit for free, for blunts, for McDonald's, for Church of Chicken. For 20 pence, little pepper know, wings, saying, all flats. $60 cell phone bill pay, you know, a little pair of Reeboks. You know, I know we done done some shit for way worse right. for, and for less. So let's stop acting. Like y'all, y'all, that's what y'all live. Y'all really mad. Right. Y'all really mad that y'all didn't get the invitation. That's all it you is. You know, that's all I see is when I see this shit now, y'all jealous. <laughs> you mad. You mad at Meat Mill. You jealous. You can't get, you know, they need to get mad at that man. You know, so. 
<laughs> and I didn't try to get mad at his video, his porn style. Right. His, I was listening to it, and I'm like, oh, well, that kind of sounds good, you know. <laughs> I listened to it about ten times, oh, you know. Lord. <laughs> I had to keep listening because I wanted to see who voice, who was doing the banging, who was doing the receiving. I'm like, wait a minute, who doing good? That sound like that sound that could be meant to get going up in the voice, you know. Daddy, daddy, daddy. I'm like, okay, that's that's. That might be me, okay? <laughs> allegedly, so, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. <laughs> so, you know, I'm like, okay, meet you, you. I need to play it again, play it again. Put it up back on repeat. No close-up on the sound. Shout out to my little brother Terry tuning in. <laughs> yeah, I need to turn the volume up now. Let me put this on the loudspeaker. Let me put my Bluetooth on. I had to hear this shit. And, you done got close-up yeah, with the Bluetooth. I had to hear it better. I'm like, this, I did. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me talk EQ up, put a little bass on this. Turn this down, the background sound. I had not got the damn equalizer. Out. Okay, let me shut down the back noise. Okay, I just, it's a lot. I hear a fan. Let me tone that down. You know, and let me just, just concentrate on this. You know, so. <laughs> I need vocals only. I, I need, need vocals only. I need only. vocals only. <laughs> Alexa, vocals only of this sound. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, okay, this sound good. Alexa, turn down the, f the fan back then. <laughs> so I just really wanted to know, you know, so... So y'all know, you know, you know, with the with the Pete did the thing. I, right. I just hope he make it through. Right. You know, a I lot, I know. A lot of people are saying they can't believe how quickly we are to to watch somebody's Be, demise. Right, right. Right. And 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 then I look at that too. You know, I'm I don't I don't like what's going on because yeah, true enough. The Nickelodeon documentary that I watched mm -hmm. the week before. Right. They went and got puffy. I was disgusted at Ron Snyder. Right. Is that his name? Ron Snyder. I think it's Ron Snyder. That's the guy who was recruiting all the kids. Uh-huh. You know, and I looked at that, and I was like, this is this is horrible now. Right. You know, because I wanted to go on Double Dare right. when Nickelodeon right, was right. out, when it came out. I wanted Dan Snyder. There we go. Get me right, little bro, little bro. <laughs> you know I say any damn thing. Dan Snyder. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I knew it was a three-letter first name, you mm. know. Um, and um, get the little thing up the camera thing up there. Oh, okay. So yeah, well, I um, Dan Snyder, you know, and you know he got these young girls getting getting calm shots in the face. Ooh. My mama would want to call <laughs> now. <laughs> she probably want to say, you know, you got some girls got cookies over here. <laughs> okay, 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 I'm gonna be there. Okay. <laughs> Right. She probably trying to call and say that, but yeah, Dan Snyder had the black little boy. Um, uh, it was just really sad, you right. know, to see. And I'm like, okay, so they really um um got these young kids messed up. Right. And these kids grew up, and to to this day, they the ones that are alive and mentally got it together a little bit. Um, they, they call hell, you know, as an adult, you know, trying to come up out of this, um, lifestyle that they was accustomed to. Right. And they, they parents though, it, what I'm tripping off of, but one guy whose son, who dad was really against it and his mom, you know, the, the guy that he even ended up living with right. at 15, um, the mom just gave him away to this man, you wow. know? Wow. And I'm like, okay, so. It's sad to say that a lot of parents was in on what their children dealt with, mm -hmm. you know, and that wasn't a good thing, you know, um, that my brother said would forever be traumatized. Mm -hmm. They they messed up for the rest of their life. Most you definitely. Know? And even looking at the little Orlando Brown guy, <clears throat> mm -hmm. you know, I love to see him. Right. As crazy as it may sound, I love to listen to what he's saying. You know, mm -hmm. it seems like it could be, you know, uh, Orlando Brown seemed like he out of his mind, but he ain't just making up stuff. Right. You know, right. he not just, it not, you know, you have to, see that what the problem is. They think that we, they play us for the crazy. Right. Drake Bell, that's the little guy name. Mm. That's who was, uh, messed, had got messed around with for the longest. Hey, Kiso, Kiso crazy. She's <laughs> tuning in. That's right. What's going um, on, Kiso? Yay, that's my girl. Um, yeah, the, the 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 little guy Drake Bell, he uh -huh. he 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 was actually was the first to prosecute one of the guys that was messing with him 
and he was living with, and the man just, just did them all kind of ways, right, you know, right. all, and just messed them up for the rest of his life. And then when they was at court, um, I <laughs> love you too. When they was at court, my little brother said he didn't hold back. He calling it out, and this isn't after to call it out. Right. So he got, he went to court. Mm -hmm. But when he was at court, he was on his side, and uh, I can't think of the guy name that he actually sued. Had all these movie stars signing paperwork saying, oh, he's a nice guy. He didn't do this. Right. You know, this guy, you know, he was forced to do this to the little boy, uh -huh. to Drake Bell. And I'm like, what, what, what? so Hollywood know what's going on. Almost this is part of their thing. Uh -huh. You know, it's not, not like it's going to be, a, um, th they know. You know right. what I'm saying? It's part of it. How long can it. you have something like that? You can't hide it forever. Right. You know, that's why now it's coming to the light that these things are happening. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the cabal is crashing. You right. know, this big, this, 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 this once these, these people are really doing these things. Mm -hmm. Allegedly. Right. You know, but we know it's just too many stories to be going on. We know it's um, some weirdos in this world. It's we know a lot it's of weirdos. weirdos. And it's some weirdos. Some of the stars we think, we think about our weirdos. Right, you right. think about that guy. Um, when I say his name all the time, Army Hammer, how he had that diary they read and said he wanted to eat people, right? Literally. Right, and they and they and, and so that's not that's allegedly, that's but really, allegedly, I'm gonna say allegedly but, anyway, but it was a but diary, really, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, just like what I saw with Carter yeah. B, yeah. really. <laughs> she asked for Illuminati, really, but right. allegedly, she's not with them, right? You know, my little brother said Orlando Brown just with the shit and ain't scared, right? He's already affected and he don't have nothing to lose. That's Which true. Is true. They, you know, when you, when I'm, I'm, y'all done done. What you gonna do? You only thing you can do is take me out. Now. Right, right. You know, so and if you do that, it's just gonna show. So what's up? That you wanted me to be hush hush. You right. know, so they, um, you know, they call him crazy and the mention got crazy, crazy thoughts. But um, he's he's been one right. that's probably been traumatized. Yeah. You know, and if you see, when I look at Lil Webster. You know, he was a little baby boy, but there was mm -hmm. a grown man. Mm -hmm. You know, and they kept they were carrying him around like he was a kid. kid right. You know, they even with Arnold, um, um, Emmanuel Lewis. Right. You know, he 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 was another star child mm -hmm. that you don't see no more. Mm -hmm. You know, what happened, you know, I think they he, then he passed away? He I think he is passed, you uh, know. Just um, like um, what's the name passed away? Um The Kim Fields girl. She's yeah. not there from different strokes. Only uh, person Kim still, Fields is still around, ain't she? Not Kim Fields, but what was the little, what the little white girl named with Kim on the show on oh, Different Strokes? Okay. You know, not Kim Fields. Lord have mercy. That was, uh... <laughs> what was Different Strokes? What was his name? Uh, Mr. Drummond? No, the guy. <laughs> the, the the main character, the short guy. Um, Who, Emmanuel um, Lewis? He, he, no, his name wasn't Emmanuel. His name was Emmanuel Lewis? No, Emmanuel, no, Lewis. Emmanuel Lewis is Webster. Webster. What was Arnold's name? Um, yeah. Ooh, that's sad. Arnold. <laughs> He was just Arnold. I can't think of that boy named man's name to save my, to life. Save my life right now. But um, they 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 experienced a lot, right. you know. And I think that Especially you know, as black children, the had, black children really got treated then. bad, and the white little girls got treated bad too. You mm. know, they became sex symbols and. Hannah Montana, mm -hmm. you know, all them Disney characters and all the Nickelodeon kids, them kids experienced some bad times. You know, mm -hmm. even Miley Cyrus, well, she was Hannah Montana. Right. But, um, you know, it, it, it's just allegedly sad to Miley say. Allegedly Miley Cyrus. Allegedly Miley. <laughs> Miley, Miley, Gary Miley. Coleman. Gary Coleman. Thank you, Thank you for breaking. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate those that's really listening. <laughs> that's tuned in, tuned right, in. Right, right. Gary Coleman, yeah, he was a star child. Right. You know, and they treated him like a baby, but he was yeah. a, a grown and his man. His mom took all his his money his mom and them took all his money and, so that was and, his problem and we're talking about millions of dollars and again parents knowing yeah. what's going on they, right they send they, when they go to hollywood they expecting to live off the that life child. that they that their child is going through you mm -hmm. know fuck what is happening beside this behind the scenes i don't you know we just gonna let like it ain't happening right you're gonna be fine you're gonna make it that's not good that's not good right. so um yeah hollywood hollywood is um is um a bad place, bad right. space. Los Angeles, you know, that's 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 just what it is, you mm -hmm. know. So you going for stardom, know that you're gonna have to do some things that and if you really wanna come up, you know, know that you're gonna do these things. We still got nine months to go in a year, so it's still gonna be it's some still more stuff. Some more stuff gonna be revealed. Right. And I saw on Facebook, it was on um Shade Room, I think, or the neighborhood, one of those big time, you know, Instagram influenced media shows. They were showing two white guys talking about it's supposed to have been a joke. Uh-huh. 
how one of them said he went to a red, a red, he was put in the red room, hung upside down. He didn't suck nobody, but he was sucked, uh-huh. you know. And then another guy that was there interviewing him, or they was together on the show as hosts together, he said he drunk a had to drink a whole cup of semen, you know, to get a, a, a to get an agent, just to get an agent, not even a show, really, just to get a big time agent. He had to drink semen. Now, as I was looking at this, I think Gip reposted it also. And I was reading the comments from the people, and the people was like, oh, this just a joke. That's just a, uh, you know, a skit. Right. You know, and I'm looking at the comments, and I'm like, so y'all going to say because it's two white guys, and it's just me thinking that. Uh-huh. That it's a skit. It's right. a joke. That they playing a joke, or they laughing at us. Right, right. You got to be kidding me. So why, why, why is it a joke that they're actually saying right, what right, they did right. at these parties allegedly, uh-huh. saying they saying it, and y'all want to make it look like it's a joke, right? So what's the difference? That, why uh, allegedly did it doing it and it's bad, uh-huh. but these two white guys saying it, y'all saying that they joking? Yeah, I don't understand why the people like this. We, we, we. And this, and then I'm feeling, okay, uh, my head breaks is all over the place right now because I look at where, where I work at. Uh-huh. Um, when people come into the office, I have a white assistant and myself. Mm-hmm. The black people go to the white girl mm-hmm. first. Of course. I'm the fucking manager. Manager. Right, I'm, right. I'm running right. this bitch right, every right, day. Right. She's here one day a week. Right. But when, she, but when they walk in the door, they want to go to her. Right. And I'm like, so we ready to rush to the white people. Right. This is all dramatic. It's so much deeper than people realize. This is Kiso comment. This is why they pull God out of the sanctions and the schools so that people would not believe in Christ. And, and, and that's a fact. And I can't see more. Because if I, you know how we be scared to touch this shit. Yeah, and they go off. Okay, here it go. It says schools that people would have the knowledge. With the absence of knowledge, you're susceptible. You're susceptible to anything, especially spiritual oppression. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we do have a church out of everything. Yeah. So now but everything the, but is... the church is not really the, the, church, the is, church that it used to be. The church ain't nothing like it used to be. I mean, you, I mean the it's church of our grandmothers, now. Our the church of our grandmothers and our great-grandmothers is not the same uh-uh. church as today. Uh-uh. So in that aspect, I feel like those churches, those churches of today indoctrinate people just as much as, as anything it, it, else. It, yeah, because see, now the church is political. Right. They're getting these free taxes. I mean, you're talking about billions of dollars. Like, right. Like the, the um the what's his name? What's his name? The guy who was in Texas who didn't Who, let Joe Austin? Yeah, he just celebrated a billion dollars. Right. Joe Austin, he, he it's political. Right. You know, but and they preach prosperity. Nothing wrong with wanting to have. Mm-hmm. But let's talk about how to have. Yeah. How to get? How you make a billion dollars off your pro- your people? Off your people. This is not and, the church. The church is a building, and that's religion. We're talking about God. God okay. used to be in more than just church, and that's where I'm at with church. I'm more of less. I like street church. Okay. And street church is people like myself. I go with that. And people like like Kiso. You know, people that have experience. Mm-hmm. You know, living the life like they say how Jesus walked. Mm-hmm. You know, he wasn't rich. He wasn't in no. Fancy church. Right. He wasn't in driving a billion dollar car or mm. wear, wearing some million dollar sandals or right. whatever that was back in that time. Right. You know, he wasn't, prosper, it wasn't prosperity. It was actually, let's get our lives right. together. It was more, that what more a church should have been like. It was more trying to teach her how to maintain in this mess. Right, right. You know, versus being of the mess. Right. And that's what most of the churches are now. They of of the mess. Right. You know, I think, and. I think what my, I think she's right i know she's right about the church but you know a lot of people attribute religion and church as one thing they would tri- the, the building the Everything. sanctuary the religion the whole, all, the whole thing is that it's church they don't they they don't know how to separate it because you have a lot of people who try to get into certain churches to be I'm prestige. I'm in this church now. Right, you get right. what I'm saying? Yeah, they want to be seen in this church. Right, it's not gonna, really about the religion. It's uh-uh, about it's the about building the, the a building, lot of time. And it's about the preacher. Right, right. You know, I, oh, I listen. I go to T.D. Right, church. Right, right, right. Oh, I'm at a Creflo right. Dollar Church. You know, y'all want to be in these big churches. And um. And then they see the street preacher 
as crazy. And you know that, right? Right, right. Oh, yeah, the, the, street the, the guy preaching. sitting down on the street on that soapbox preaching his gospel out his Bible, he they see him as crazy. But he telling the truth. Right. He trying to save the lives. Right. He really worried about you. Right. Because if you stand that side, because I done seen the man standing over on the, on the, on the, on the, on the damn near on the expressway, uh-huh. and he preaching early in the morning and it's cold. He ain't had to do that. Right. He ain't had to, you know, praise, give praise to God and, and reminding people that it's more to Christ, it's more to, to being of God. It's more to the spiritual realm than the, the church. Bills. Right. You know, I'd rather stand and listen to somebody on the street versus right. going into the bed. I got to go in there and put in 10%. Mm-hmm. What? I mean, I got to put in the 10%. We got the bed in the phone. We got the church phone. We got the sick and shut in. We, gotta get we got gifts. all these people. And then here go the pastor anniversary. We got to get him money for this. We get my What? Right. You know, so, you know, it's, it's about you. Mm-hmm. It's about you. It's about how God works in your life. Because mm-hmm. I done seen him working in mine. I right. done seen the mess right. that he done fixed for me. Right. You know, I done seen the mess that I done been delivered from. I done seen what my family have been delivered from right. through Christ, mm-hmm. through God, through God. You know, because I, 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 I still struggle a lot, you know, with what has been taught. But I like what I have experienced, Okay. what I have felt. Mm-hmm. You know, in in the word, you know, so it's uh, it's, it's 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 a um, it's a thin line, you know. But you got to show what you what your walk is. Mm-hmm. You know, every individual has a walk, and we was created in an image. Mm-hmm. So you you got to carry that image right. Mm-hmm. You know, your vessel, you are the vessel. You got a spirit in you. You know, that voice that you talk to all the time in mm-hmm. your mind. That one that be and you be asking questions to and you answer mm-hmm. it. That's your God mind. That's your that's your that's your spirit. That's mm-hmm. your soul. That's your your guidance. Mm-hmm. You know you when you when you when you have these personal conversations, mm-hmm. which say who you talking to? Right. Who you think? Who you think that? Where's that voice coming from? Right. You I know what that, I'm saying? I think that spiritual walk sometimes is a little bit difficult for some more people, some people than others. You know, because um. Uh, and I don't want to put her out there, but you know, Slick, she, when her son died, you know, she she's been having a hard time getting back to praying. Right. You know right, what I'm saying? She's right. been having a very hard time. She used to be a prayer. I mean, right. And that and me too. This 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 Myself. woman pulled out her Bible, her Bible marked up and everything. everything. She was really into it. But after her son died, she just felt like it was just. You know, she felt angry. It felt angry, yeah. and you could be, you could be mad at God. Right. You know, Kiso said you have to know God for yourself. Mm-hmm. That doesn't have to look like anyone else, mm-hmm. and it don't. Right. You know, your 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 spiritual interaction, mm-hmm. just like you say, how Rika is kind of upset with mm-hmm. God. Mm-hmm. You know, and having problems with trying to get back in line, mm-hmm. and 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 that's 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 understandable, mm-hmm. and God understand that. Right. You know, He not not He's not. Uh, ugly, like right. how they tell you. Right. He's a jealous God, and he's mad at you for this. He's not. Right. He's not. What he look like being jealous. Right. You know what God is, look like being it, jealous right. of, of, of me. Right. You know, so <laughs> or, or, or me doing. He's mad. He upset that you worshiping idols because now our idols that we're worshiping now is um. And Kiso can relate to that because she said she lost her son to cancer at 14. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you you get upset and you get mad, mm-hmm. but you heal. Mm-hmm. God heals. He fixes. it. Right. You know, it's bad. It's a hurt. It's the worst experience you can have in your lifetime mm-hmm. for a mother and for even a child losing their mother. That's, mm-hmm. a, that's a whole whole level of, of, of misunderstanding, mm-hmm. you know, and a whole level of emotion that you got to try to gather, right. you know, and ain't nothing wrong with being pissed, mm-hmm. you know, but you got to come out of it, you know, and still trust God that you got to carry on. This, this is, it's, it's not a death, death, death sentence because right. someone you love or even brought in this world has passed, mm-hmm. you know. So it's, 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 it's real. It's, it's a, it's a walk mm-hmm. that you got to have, and it's an individual walk. walk right. You can't get mad at her because she mad at God. Right, right. You can't say, what you mad for? What, what you mad for no, that right. I'm mad? Right. What, what you mad at me it for ain't being your mad? Business while you I'm ain't mad. going through this. Right. You don't know what I'm feeling like. Right. Yeah, so what you mad for? You need to go sit down right. with your uh, mad for nothing <laughs> ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> you folks that want to be in shit, right. sit down. 
Yeah. This ain't your madness. This is mine. <laughs> Let me have this. People be people be wanting to be mad with you or at you for being mad. You know, so it, it's just funny how people are. And uh, you know, there, there ain't no need to get in on that. Right. You know, trying to uh hate me for being not understand right you know so um god is good you know and this this is where we at you know uh we gotta we gotta trust him Mm -hmm. you know a lot of people don't have experiences with god and they they know he's real Mm -hmm. you know and we say he's you know and it could be her you know it could be a lot because we done been taught so much misunderstood information and um and it was done on purpose on purpose of course you know a bunch of me too has niggas. Yeah, I won't be mad too. I was, you know, so you know, but 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 you you gonna jump on my madness? But what has God done for you? Right. You know what good do you see that He's done for you? Mm-hmm. You know, so you you just elaborate on that part. That part. You elaborate that God done delivered you from this and that and these this this bad situation, this abusive relationship, this uh this um you know drug habit that I done had, you know, you done been delivered. You can say that it take a lot. Right. And you got to come out of, uh, at a spiritual point. That's true. You going to call on something spiritual. You mm-hmm. ain't going to, you know, even if it, for some people, then call on Satan. Because mm-hmm. that's who they deal with. Right. You know, but they calling on the on the spirit. Right. Not the church. Right. So, you you know, it's it's your spiritual walk. That's what they call it. Mm-hmm. And and that's where we are. We all got our own spiritual walk, and we got to uh, trust it. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, it going to be fucked up at times. You know, we not going to understand at times. A lot of times. A lot of times. <laughs> you don't understand. A it. lot and, of times. And it's hard to see good and negative. Negative, right. You know, it's hard to see the end result. For the for the beginning of right, the situation, right. you know, for the problem, you you focus on the problem more than the coming out of, right, right. you know. But then when you come out, you gonna look back and be like, that shit was crazy as hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it's funny when you come, come through, through it, right? You know, it, it hey, that end part, just know it's gonna be funny, right? Right. So how about you focus on? It's going to be funny. Right. But right now, I'm pissed. Oh. Right now, I'm mad. <laughs> right. right now, I don't know what to do. But I know three years or maybe less or um, even longer, mm. this shit going to be funny. Right. You know, because you done overcame it. You right. know, so um, trust the, trust your spiritual walk. Right. Trust your inside mind that you have mm. and that voice that constantly talks to you. Mm. You, you wake up. Talking to yourself. I'm most definitely. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm gonna do today? What I'm gonna do today? To get How get myself do organized? This? Okay, God. Some people say, "Okay, God, yeah, where we at?" That's but I right. Got, you know, I sometimes say, "Go before me." Right. Go on in that job right check, now. Check it out. While I'm brushing my <laughs> teeth and check the trap. Right. Make sure that them <laughs> evil people ain't coming out of date. Right. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to see that. So you go first. Right. Get on in there before I do. Cause I'm a, if I get there first, yeah, <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, I'm not gonna be. I'm gonna lose my job. I'm not, <laughs> Cause I'm gonna be the nut to the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna have to worry about me tomorrow. No, I'm gonna be unemployed. You know, Kiso, I gotta come in to read. She says the problem is we try to impose our beliefs and let people walk how they see it fit. Mm. If it's meant, you'll draw them, and if not, keep on living. People want to be God. That's when it begins to become manipulative and manipulating. So it because and manipulation isn't of God. That's right, Kiso. <laughs> right. They want to use it for how they want it to work. Right. You know what I'm saying? And like right now, we we're we're when when the Bible spoke of no idol tree, you know, we used to think about wood statues, statues, uh omelets, all kind of stuff that was idle. Yeah. But now in 2024, we're idling people. Celebrities. We're idolizing celebrities. We're idolizing money. Mm-hmm. You know, we that's our only concern in life. Mm-hmm. When we logging in on Instagram, Facebook, first thing we want to see is somebody's celebrity bullshit. <laughs> you ready to see something crazy. It's nothing positive being posted. Nothing. You know, we always, you know, and then when we look at these celebrities, all they're pushing is money. Money. Uh, all our young rappers and the generation to come, all they can focus on 
and getting a necklace, a Cuban net, mm. Cuban necklace, having jewelry, having money. You know, we're worshiping what the Bible said, or if I, I could be wrong, but the money is the root of all evil. Right. Money is. You right. know, you can't say it ain't. Yeah, it helps. It pay the bills. Mm. Yeah, you can go take a vacation and you be happy. You know, you can find happiness within it. Spending right. money. You know, but when people go out and do the things that we say, um to get it. To get it, then what? Right. You know, you you killing people, you selling drugs, you got people getting shit, you mm. got folk out of their mind. Kiso say you teaching reps good now we analyze money bodies backsides breasts jewelry cause sex know the love of money is the root of all evil and not money that's what the bible says so that's it the root of all evil not the money that's what see so what you're doing for that right is the evil right you're doing the wrong thing for, for the, the money. money right you know what i'm saying and even the pastor y'all preaching for Prosperity. the money you know what I'm saying? But you're not saving life. You ain't telling these people, no, no, no. Don't do this. Don't do that. Know the love of money is the root of all evil, not the money. That's what the Bible says. Right. So we doing the wrong thing to get the money, and those are evil intent. Right, right. You know, now if you get money and you know you finna go go feed all these hungry people, uh-huh. you, your, your, your root ain't evil. Right. You I mean, know what I'm saying? think about the billion dollars Joe Osteen's got. How I many... Uh, Tiny homes he could build for homeless folks with that. That's what I'm saying. Floyd Mayweather, y'all got all these men. See, they're not going to let you do that right. with their money because their root is evil. Mm-hmm. So you, these celebrities that got a lot of money, and you sit back and say, why they won't do this? Why they won't? Mm-hmm. You think they don't want to? You think they, you know, don't get it twisted that these people don't want to do the right thing. Mm-hmm. They can't Ain't. do the right thing right. because of where their money came from it came from a root of evil. Right. So you can't do good with evil money. Oh, okay. Because the evil is not going to let you do that. You so gonna say just, it's, the, it's the love of money. The, the love, love of money. money. And, yeah. and, and, and that's what made people do people. Because people want to be rich. Yeah. People want to be able to shine and have the not best Not worry about no bills. Ain't got to worry about bills. But see, when you... And what I have seen from the... um um They're not... The ones in control, absolutely. They're not in control of their bank accounts. Mm-hmm. Cause time they would go pull out a million dollars to go build a, a set of apartments. You know, yeah, they show some people doing that, but they still the root of it. Right. It ain't good intention. You know what I'm Tell saying? Tell Kiso so, she need to call in. Who that Kiso need to call yeah. in? <laughs> At, but you see on the phone, oh, she okay. can call in too. <laughs> Cause I would love to hear a voice too. Right, you know, right. but. And if you do, go happen to go get a house phone or something. Six seven eight seven four zero ninety eight ninety four, and you can call in. Shout out to Mr. Hood just joining in. What's going on, in. Mr. Hood? Hey, hey you know Hood. everybody checking in. That's right. She said you better teach. The spirit is um. What's the number? That's right. <laughs> Six seven eight seven four zero ninety eight ninety four. Go to get your somebody sitting next to you telephone that ain't studying the show. <laughs> right. And use their phone. Six seven eight seven four zero ninety eight ninety four. That's right. Um, y'all can call in but yeah the root of evil is money selling dope selling selling the pussy yeah. <laughs> uh. for the money right you know right, you right. know that disrespecting the bible your body okay we got a caller Keisha, yeah. hold on hello shanny jack all right I'm- I'm going to tap in with you. I'm going to tap in with you. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with, I'm with it, and I'm ready. I'm listening. <laughs> now, listen, you, you, you teach it real good. You had that scripture a little backwards, though. Most people miss. Uh, you got you read it the right way when I wrote it to you. It's not the love. It's not the money is the root of all evil. It's the love for money is the root of all evil. Okay. Yep, and and that's I can my- say as a, as a bishop's daughter and an openly gay woman mm-hmm. that the hugest mis- misconception um, that's perpetuated now around spirituality, religion, the belief of God is a certain look. There's, there's these ideologies that you got to have a skirt down to the, your ankles. Right. Or, you know, you, you can't have makeup. You can't right. have sex with certain people. Right. And that has nothing to do with it. The, the Bible says you're supposed to have a mind like Christ. Do you really live like Christ? Right. See, the sad part is these people who impose these type of ideologies 
normally don't really live like Christ. They right. just show up in church and they look at, they look the part, yeah. but they're not out here feeding the homeless. Right. They don't take time to stop and encourage somebody. If they see a man beating his wife, they don't try to stop and, uh-uh. and, and help and show up. And so it's people like you, it's people like me that really walk that walk, and we do it humbly and private, but we often get overlooked because we don't fit what old religion used to look exactly. like. Exactly. Now, I will skirt, say... Long I will straight. say OG was on point. OG was on point when he said church is not the same. And that's true because right. the spirit of religion, that idea of religion has died. And it's important that it did because the idea of religion didn't include all people. Right. And that's not what the Bible says. So I'm excited now that church is evolving from the way we used to know it. And you see churches more diverse. Right. And you see people from all different walks serving. Now, when it comes to money, Money is always hard. Like I heard him talking about Joel Osteen and all that stuff. When those, and he, one of you said it, when those pastors get to a certain level, they aren't in control of their money. No. And that's just the things you don't know. Right, right, Churches right. that operate correctly utilize those funds correctly. I know because my father was a great bishop. We didn't, my father didn't make money off the church. He right. made money off of his work. So when you have a church that's operating for the people, that money goes into maintaining the buildings where you worship, and also serve in the community. Now, evidence of that is food pantries. Like, right. you can look at the church and see what they do. Right. Like, uh, you know, are they having clothing drive? Right. Are they doing free haircuts, free supplies back to school? Those those churches are showing you where those funds go. And I think it's important that we don't forget that, because as long as we perpetuate the idea that church is a scam, then as we die out, we know church from our grandmothers and stuff, but the kids that are coming up behind us, they become... Um, you know, they become susceptible to demonic things that are on TikTok and all that. I'm going right. to say this, I'm going to shut up, because this is I preach this all the time. Right. The, when you see these things that are repetitive, like these sounds, blah, 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 yeah, songs same, and all these same music, vibration. those are mantras. Right. Those are, Low that's vibration. seducing our children's yep. minds. Yep, yep, you're so absolutely if right. So we don't, if we keep perpetuating the idea that church isn't real or that church isn't good or church is a scam, then what happens is our kids become servants to TikTok and right. the internet. And as it's over time, as those yeah. messages get perpetuated into their minds, they don't know what they become susceptible to demonic oppression. So we got more suicidal kids, kids right. shooting up schools. You know, that little girl beat, she's banged the little girl head into right. the floor until she was yeah, teasing that was up. Crazy. This, is, this, is not, this is not how we were raised. Uh-uh. You shoot the fair one and go home. Uh-uh. That's not a God. That's not of a kind spirit. You, They don't have no good spirit in them, you know, to, 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 to get that upset. You know, it's mm-hmm. like almost a possession. Yeah. You know, because yeah. you can't no, even stop No, it is. It's yourself. exactly a possession. Yeah. You, you can't, you, you get in this attack mode and you just stay in it. Not not one time do you say, oh, Lord, I'm being, I might be about to kill it. Because I remember when I was forgetting to fight with my sister one time, mm-hmm. I said, oh, I need to hold on. I right. need to fall back. Right. You know, because I knew this my sister. I can't fight like this. I can't be acting like a stranger like on the street. Yeah, I'm finna treat her like a stranger on the street because I'm that enraged. Right. You know, you don't want to be like that. That's, that's not a spirit. That's not a good, a healthy spirit that you have. But also, remember, we didn't see it like they see it. We didn't have world stuff. To, to know about a fight, you had to know Shaquana, Keisha, Pam, see them at the I, store I, I, the next like day of school I, I on like Monday that. to hear about the fight. Yeah, now, yeah. It's, it's violence is constantly perpetuated. You could go online and literally search fight videos. Yeah, and that's So sad. now a person that's angry, they watch that and they want to have the next lit fight video or they saw from this person, yeah. oh, this is how you need to yeah. drag a hoe or handle it. Yeah. And so yeah. now this is what kids become obsessed with. We knew both worlds. We right. knew, like, we knew how to go, you know, grind and get busy in a, you know, in a basement party or in right. a backyard party. But we also knew gospel. We knew Shirley right. Steen. And right. we knew the wine and right. we knew Fred Hammond. We knew both worlds. Right. This, because there was nothing that was perpetuating one thing as right. right. We just knew that, hey, the church was the church and the street was the street. In this day and time, they pe- perpetuating, nah, this is what we're doing. The streets, you got the kids streets. throwing up this Illuminati mm-hmm. sign. And right. How about drinking blood? Right. It's right. crazy. Who, what, what they know about that? They don't know. They don't know. <laughs> thank God that we know the two. We know that's not right. Right. But see, they don't. They only see what they're seeing. Mm-hmm. And then once you become getting these uh, repetitions of the same thing, you every day, all day, all 24 day. hours, 365 days, like you said, you can go see a fight. Mm-hmm. So we gonna see this and we gonna look at it and we think it's okay. Mm-hmm. And then we got people liking it. 
Mm-hmm. And that was another. That's another thing. You getting these likes, so you think it's okay, mm-hmm. and it's not okay because somebody like it or fight. It was so sad about me and what I no, no. It ain't sad. It's what I thank God for. Is when I see fights on videos. Say for instance, a girl like the girl getting her head punched. My body actually feels. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I saw somebody post before. They said, "Do when y'all see this, that y'all, your my body actually your, feels it. Your, I, I your actually empathetic my sensitive. empathy level. It, I can't. It, I feel the. Mm. Fa- I feel somebody when they fall mm. and hurt themselves. You know, from a stunt or something. It's something that I've noticed that I actually feel w- the pain. Does that too. We be watching the movie. She'll jump. I'm like, what you it's the for? pain. I feel it. Right. <laughs> it's, it's a feeling that. Right. You know, it, it's, I, I, and I, 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 like I said, I thank God for it because mm. I feel. Uh-huh. And I know this this hurts. This is pain. This is not good. Mm. You know, my spirit. You don't only feel, you see too, though. Yeah. And, you, and the visual. When you, when you have that gift, that, that, that gift come with seeing too. It's just that a lot of times we turn that gift off because they didn't teach it to us right. right. So right. they right. made us think that off. you you could you had to ha- look when like a feet, certain way. Right. Or if you didn't look that way, you you didn't have the gifts. But the Bible says the anointing is without repentance. Right. So right. that's just like a man could go and sing to the heavens open up, a preach down Zion, and everybody gets saved. But he go home and beat his wife. And beat on his but wife. he still has that anointing. Right. So you right. still have that anointing, that gift, just like... I tell people all the time, they taught us wrong. They tell you, oh, it's your first mind, and it's your gut. No, it's God. It's yeah. something to tell you don't go that way, don't go that way, because that's the Lord that's telling that you, God hey, mind. it's danger that's, that way. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's that but God But they don't mind. want you to know that. They right. want to be your God. Right. Yeah. And right. you, you hit the nail on the head when you said repetition. If you think about church, we hear it say, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, thank you. It's repetition. It's a mantra. That's right. all mantras right. are. So if you right. keep saying it, Beat them down, beat them down, beat them down. Right, you right. condition your mind mm-hmm. to believe and behave that way. Right. And this is why you see that in these short videos. And this is why the attention span is so short, 30 right. seconds, one minute. Yeah. Remember, you make a video longer than that, you lose your audience. Yeah, ain't nobody if, watching. I'm, uh-uh. down, I'm down to two right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Soon as you start something, a, a grand conversation, you know people tune up. They only got three minutes. If you ain't saying ski, yeah, right, right. or you ain't, you know what I'm saying. If you ain't, you ain't turned up in the right way, or saying something vulgar, or or, or they or, like mess. You people know, they, love mess. Yeah, if you they'll speak, watch mess for. 15, but, 20 minutes. Yeah, you can, you, they'll yeah. get indulged in it. They will go, forget that they don't even thought about this and they're going to stay stuck on that. Mm-hmm. You know, so it, like you said, the attention span is shorter. It's only three to five minutes of understanding that people want to get. Right. You know, so they'll never hear the rest of the story. Right. They'll never hear what happened before and what even what happened after. they just going to focus on what they see now, mm-hmm. you know, for these three minutes. Right. And that, that's the false imagery. You know, that's not the narrative. Right. That's not really where it come from you know so but that's on purpose though you know that's is. on purpose yeah, right? yeah because if you pay attention longer you gain more knowledge of what is right. so if you don't pay attention you, you don't know it. you don't know the end yeah you might you, you may know the, the beginning and a little bit of the middle but you don't know what happened at the end right you don't know that at mm-hmm. the end of this video that guy got locked up is doing 40 years right. you, you don't know at the that end of that part. video right. that girl got shot and killed or whatever right. so those things you don't know because you're only seeing a the, minute of a the video of the, a portion and, that, of and they call that the viral moment of the right. video you get what right. i'm saying right. you're only that's seeing it. the, the viral it. moment of the right. video so you're not seeing but, the consequences of but the word itself viral right you know right it's short span of virus right exactly it's, you know if you and if that's you, what people chase now it's so sick like they could be poor and living you listen they have made homelessness fly yeah. like, you could go on youtube right now living in my car you'll find a million people we just, they're yes. flogging how they live in their car yeah. living right. in a cardboard box flogging right how they're living it this is how thirsty people are for attention you right. mean to tell me that you are sleeping in your car with your family and you have and you time have to it. vlog this. You supposed to be doing everything you can to get money together to get on your feet. No, no they wanna be You want you want you want sympathy. See you want uh, instant right. gratification. gratification. You want us you want you want instant or maybe somebody start me a GoFundMe, or maybe Tyler Perry will see this and he'll save me. So you 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 need to be trying to save yourself. Mr. Hood said because the world is consumed with the love of foolishness. Right. That's why they can't stay focused. No, right. So yeah. as long as we see bullshit, we we gonna go for it. Right. As long as it's chaos, mm-hmm. we love it. Right. But let me put up. I, and and I done seen it plenty of times. I can't even put up them. I can post a motivational post. Mm-hmm. 
it don't go nowhere. Right. It's like they blackballing. Oh, but yeah. then the next video I put up with a fight or with some I never post a fight, but when if I was to post something negative about Diddy or something, they go or with everybody yeah. watching it. Yeah, yeah. Or, or somebody getting cussed out, mm. everybody watches that. Mm. But nothing good goes viral. Yeah. Unless yeah. it's something they chose and then that even has the bad motive yeah. under it. Undertone that that's not good. Mm -hmm. You know, so they'll show somebody being molested, you know, or see something, you know, mm -hmm. that those are the things that they want people to stay focused on, the, the negative, right. the evil spirit. They mm -hmm. want, they're praising the evilness, mm -hmm. you know, versus yeah, the good. Yeah, it's the condition of the mind. Listen, I'm going to tell you something, and, it, and a lot of it sounds like conspiracy when you wide asleep, but I'm wide awoke, right? Right, right. Now, all this, back in the days, the first shooter we really had that was big was Columbine, right? Then right. all of a sudden they came out with Grand Theft Auto. If you ever played that game, that game is just sheer loose violence. Mm. If you have a five-year-old child that's watching his 13-year-old brother play that game until his mother finally say he's old enough to play it. So now his mind has been conditioned to this fantasy of violence for the past seven years because right. he's 12 now. Now he starts playing it, but the game doesn't satisfy him because he watched it already for seven years. Right. So now he steals his mother's car and he runs down a bunch of people on the sidewalk. Right. And we say, lock the kid up, put him under the jail. He has problems. No, 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 no. He's been you programmed. You conditioned this child yeah. to be this way. He's been programmed. You perpetuated this idea that this is this is fun. This is You made mm -hmm. this a game. Yeah, he yeah. wanted so to now do it because they want to do it in real car, life now. He's so numb. Yes. He doesn't even, they don't even, a lot of times when you see them lock up them children for committing up crimes, they look so blank. Yeah. Right. They have become uh, yeah. completely numb to humanity. Yeah. Yeah. They don't know that this was not the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. You, that was a game. Mm -hmm. And they, in their mind, they're just thinking that they living out. Well, doing something. the games are getting more realistic. And more and more, more realistic. Real. More you know, realistic. The, the, the bodies, it ain't like how we had them little blocks of, yeah. you know, <laughs> Pac-Man, you know, that, that craziness. Now they got real doo -doo 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 -doo, right, right. gun shooting, blood splattering yeah, on yeah. the TV. You know, you right. check, you check And you can feel things. the vibration of the gun. Yeah, through the, the phone, the, right. the hands shaking, the, right. you know, all those, and you know, all that programming. And we done got desensitized to pain, mm -hmm. emotion, and when we see real love, we don't understand what it. it. You like, what? I don't like you. Right. What the fuck? Uh, don't you suppose, you know, uh, no, don't they we don't, hold the whole hand? Oh, women can't say that now. They Dude, we that hold the hands. You that. look crazy. Hold the hands they, walking they, down the street. They equate that to spitting in their mouths. Each yeah. other, spitting in each other's uh, mouths now. No, no, that's yeah. not, that's not, that's not, this is not what, we had it in a very right, bad right direction. direction. <laughs> you know, and this, before I go, I just want to, elaborate on one thing we got this eclipse coming up i don't like to spread fear but i do like to show uh, uh give you a sense of preparation mm. you know I, I i i i feel like this this eclipse hadn't been around it hadn't happened in 300 years and it's only gonna flow over the united states mm. it's gonna flow in the path uh, Missouri, Kentucky, it's going to Canada, Mexico, so it's going in this certain direction. And this me, I'm always on my conspiracy conspire, aspire. Right, that's thinking, right. And I, um, I feel like this is going to be an opportunity that our MitGov uh, take advantage of us and say that, oh. This went out. Right. Um. Sorry, the ATMs aren't working today. Right. Uh. You know the eclipse because it's gonna happen during the daytime. Mm -hmm. It's supposedly lasts for an hour. Mm -hmm. You know the birds and the bees are gonna think it's nighttime. Yep. The bats are gonna start flying because they're gonna think it's nighttime. Mm -hmm. The flowers are gonna try to close up because they think it's nighttime. And if they if this lasts for an hour, um, um, it's gonna get crazy. That's mm -hmm. right, Kiso. It's gonna get crazy. Kiso, did you hang up? Oh, no, no, I'm okay, here with you, I'm okay. with you, I'm, I'm just in the car. So, I, I just think that this is going to be a chance to play another game. Yeah, well, they've already been testing the grid. Right, I know they've been, they've been testing, testing the grid, but see, this is going to be a good reason to say why this happened well, this Let me time. tell y'all something, when Divic happened, I told Slick, I said, they want us to stay in the house anyway. Right. Because why are all the movies coming out on TV so quickly now? You right. got all the movies come out on TV. You got all these food delivery places, all these grocery delivery yeah, places. They don't want up. you to come out that front door. Right. And they're going to they gonna, they gonna, uh, they gonna say that 
food delivery and and all that stuff are essential workers, so they can come outside. Right, right. they can work, but, but they don't want can. you going to no movies. Uh-uh. They don't want you going out to dinner. They don't the want you going out to grocery the store. People. Right, they want yeah, they don't want people outside together uh-uh. talking uh-uh. about uh-uh. things. It's isolation. You want you in the house. Control people more right. when they're not, not together. Right, you could you could tell them anything if they're not going outside to see for to themselves. To verify, right? You know what I'm saying? So, so that's they, what Divock did. Right. It, it changed. It changed us. Uh, Deshaun Washington, the government don't need chance, chances or reason. They just do what they want. And that's true. But they but, see, but they take advantage of, of chances. chances. You it know seems like saying? an accident more it's a, than it's, a blatant it, thing. Right. It could be smoother. It right. could be more smoother versus People say, oh, okay, doing, well. Yeah. But dang, that did. The eclipse yeah. did happen. So, yeah. darn, the, like, the ATM did shut down. Oh, darn, AT&T, they, they did get mm-hmm. a solar flare, right, right. flare and just messed up. So, yeah, right, the uh, money in creating mass pandemonium. Right. Exactly. When, before Fear. 2000 came in, they did that to us. We thought when the year 2000 hit, Y2K, everything was going to shut yeah. down. Right. We were scared. We just knew the, the, the planes were just going to drop out the air. You know, we weren't <laughs> yeah. going to be able to, the, you know, the, the planes just going to fall. You know, <laughs> We just knew chaos was just going to happen. Right. You know, we was expecting it. Mm. We sat around and waited, and then when nothing happened, you were like, oh. Because we knew we were too aware of it. We were too aware, but so this time, mm-hmm. you know, I'm it's just. It's going to be a gradual thing. Every, all, all things are gradual. Right, it's going to be You know, gradual. so it won't be such a shock. You're not, right. you're not going to, when, when, the, when the doctor gives you a needle, a shot, they tell you to look away. Right. So and then you when don't you need look. A- if you need a succession of shots, they say we're gonna give you these few this day. You come and back then two you more come weeks. Back to, yeah, we're gonna give you yeah. three more. So so you kinda get mentally prepared. Right, right. You know, so we getting mentally prepared. That's why you had the little face AT and T shut down. The little uh Instagram where Instagram they logged Instagram everybody out. Logged Facebook. everybody out for one second. I'm like, hold on, what? I was scared. I said, Oh, they done got me. Oh <laughs> Lord. Ooh, you they talking about a, everybody they out. had gave me a ten second scare. Right. I was like, Oh, it's over. They I logged which I wish out. It would happen, right. to be honest. Right. You know, I'm going to tell you one thing. Do you remember this when we was kids, when this used to come on the TV? This is only a test? Right, right, right. Right, right. The boo, yeah. this is only same a test. too many things to test now. They don't do, and they don't even really show that no it's more. Too many, it's too many to test now. It's too, they can't okay. run Because that they test. don't have to tell you anymore. They right. did it. They, they logged you all out of Instagram. This is on the test. They looked and at plus the they have to go on. So they know how. They know exactly what to do now. They know yeah. where you at. They see us, our phones. They see us in our house. They hear us. They hear us, your cell phone they know how your sleep pattern right. is because you got the phone in the bed right, right. you know I, when i put my phone on the charger and i set it on the floor and i look down at it and i'm like so why the light still on you know <laughs> I, 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 why 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 you still lit up it's four in the morning and you still <laughs> lit up when when you supposed to went black at some time but you the phone still just on so you you listening right. you know I, I you know it's we're being tracked we're being monitored you know, we um, you know, it's it's just a lot of things that's going on right now. Mr. The, and Mr. Hood said the reason is we are living in hell. The right. journey has us passing through this place to get to higher grounds. Keep doing what thus says the Lord. That's right. Right. You, if you you and and then if you up God mm-hmm. and you are spiritually connected. These things don't matter. That's the right. word. Do you know what I'm saying? These things don't matter because God got the final say. So. Right. He's in control. Yeah, yeah but things... OG, you just, OG just said right there. See, people scared to hear that word. And that's that's the real word. See, people misunderstand everything. Like, when the archangel Michael knocked the devil out the sky, right? Uh-huh. When he knocked him from heaven, he knocked him and all his demons down here. They, they inhabited the world. Right. Mm-hmm. So when people keep saying, oh, the world... Oh, the world's going crazy. No, no, no. The, the world, and people, where's God? God is where he's sitting. Right, the right. The Lord knocked the devil down here. He right. gave him this. Now, it's up to you to be. To, to that, be that free uh, will. That, that free it's will. It's up to you to be wide asleep. Right. Or to be awake and understand that right. these principalities, these rulers in high places, the government, right. the president, right. the all the people, your these high, people your are not, they're not surrendered to God. But no. if you got the mind that OG got and you understand that, this world is the real hell. Right. And you got the biggest knowledge. Or you want to come to it. You right. want to come to it. And you and you and you're co- absolutely correct. You know we. That's why the generation that we're that's to come and that is they don't know that. Mm-hmm. They don't. They ain't read no Bible and, no. and understand that where you gonna get your strength from mm-hmm. when you're sad. Mm-hmm. You know they don't have a place to pick up from. They mm-hmm. don't have a mind to say. Okay, God, help me. Help me. They out. don't have that. That voice does not come on in their mind because mm-hmm. they wasn't 
programmed like how we were programmed going to church right. every Sunday, going to church every week. We got programmed to call on God. When mm-hmm. when things get back, call on the name of Jesus. That's gonna be the first name you call when you in, in everybody, oh Lord. Right. Oh, you right. know, in any situation, oh Lord, Jesus, Lord, you know, yeah. you say that without even thinking about saying it. You said when you think about people who don't who don't say it often, but when they get drunk and if in they, the bad place, they be like, Lord, if you just yeah, yeah, you if make you me could just make me make that get you call on them in those times, but right. these kids don't have that voice to call on. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and and that's not a good thing. They gonna call you, on Let me Instagram. ask you a question. Do you and Akiso can answer this too. Do you think the reason why the kids nowadays does do not call on Jesus is because that politicians have got a hold to it so much it made it seem like a bad thing it made it seem like it's not a real thing yeah they made it seem like your help is not gonna come from there uh-huh. it's not gonna come from the spirit world they stuck on the material world they mm-hmm. want to touch it they want to see it instantly and mm-hmm. they want to they want to believe in that okay they, they don't want to hear oh jesus please save me right mm-hmm. now you know they don't because they take time right they don't see it. They right. think it's because I'm just saying this. This is not what, whatever. He ain't coming. He ain't doing, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I'm, I'm almost thinking this because, you know, uh, when politicians get a hold of things, they always turn into something so bad. Like when, when with religion, like Kiso was saying, you know, they say, oh, you can't be gay or right. you can't be this, you right. can't be that. Right. And that turns a lot of people off. off. That right. turns, I mean, nowadays these kids are so much open they and freer. Right. And they that, they like, well, I don't want to be a part of that. If right. they if they telling me what I'm doing is wrong or I'm evil, I don't want to hear. I don't hear. Right, right. You I'm know not going saying? to church for they to be sitting up there staring at me. Right, right, or judging you know, me. Because I'm right. a boy and I want to be a girl. Right, right. You sitting up here looking at me. <laughs> oh, I ain't going back there. Right. You know, I'm not, I don't want to hear that lady talking about some child. Why you got that skirt? This all I had. Right. This all I got. You right. know, yeah, I could have put on a pair of pants, but I want to sit in here and be comfortable. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So what, 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 what? They what? even look at you if you have on pants in some of the churches. Yeah, because now they think I'm I'm not a girl. So <laughs> now we got so many judges, you know, and not nobody just being a, a, a defender. You know, you want to judge, but you ain't defending the right, right things. Right. You know, so it's, um, we, we just, we just got to, you know, and I'm going to end the show because um, I want to go find some Easter eggs. <laughs> I want to eat. I want me a, I want me an egg off the ground. You know what I'm saying? When it's slightly you want, stepped on. You want, you, that, you, want that, uh, you want that honey Easter egg. That honey Easter egg. <laughs> you know, so I want to, I want to, I want some eggs. But what I want to end this and how I want to end this is, on, you know, y'all open up your spirit of discernment. You know, you got to know how to, and I know everybody don't have it. That's just first. You know, I, I know I have it real good, and I thank well, God. Well, it's not that everybody don't have it. Everyone isn't aware of it because right. it's not taught. Okay. We it, all got okay. it. Right. I could go for that. You know, they don't know what they feel when they have that spirit. When when, they, right. when that little, go sit your, you, you don't need to go down here. Right. You need to, don't, don't call them. Don't start that. Because you remember, know. you're not just, you're not just physical. You said it earlier. See, we not taught this. Man is physical and spiritual. Right. So when you kept talking about that voice and all that you yeah, hear, that's that your is spirit. your discernment. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, so that's, if they're only spirit. aware of physical, then they don't they don't have no connection with the realest part of themselves, which exactly. is their spirit. Exactly. Man. They want they want to, they want that feeling. They want you got mm-hmm. to touch it, you got to eat it, you got to smell it. They want that, mm-hmm. but that that voice that's constantly talking to them, and and. It, even if it's an evil voice, they got it's a spiritual voice that's in everybody, and that's where the spirit of discernment is. Right. And we have to Come listen it. to it. That's you know, right. we gotta we gotta believe in that. You know, cause that's what's gonna save you. That's true. That's what's gonna tell you, hey, you need. I need to. Get, I need to get more spiritually fed. Mm-hmm. I need to get some scriptures in me right quick. You know, so I can get my armor on. Mm-hmm. I need to know how to defend myself in this situation. Mm-hmm. You know, I need to know how to handle this situation. You know, so y'all, I, I appreciate you, Kiso girl. Yeah, you need to come on and sit on the sofa next week. <laughs> you know, I was just thinking that I'm, I'm gonna have to come down because uh, the Lord has changed me so much, and I love now when. Uh, I speak out and stuff often, and I love when I'm invited to speak out and uh, people are surprised to see me. But I'm definitely going to have to pull up right. on y'all because I love what God has done in my life, and I love that. And I'm, I love it has happened. Knows, he knows I'm the same person. Right, I right. I just have truly, you know, surrendered to what God has called me to do. Like, I don't live in no fake, and, you know, I don't. I just don't indulge in certain right, things because right. I do believe in being sanctified. 
Uh, but I, I just love that we were able to have this conversation and it didn't turn into anything combative. And what's no. so dope is that anointing is all over you. It's all over you. Was, you teach it real good. You went the book real good. I could give you every scripture because you was in Luke, baby. You yeah, I'm just, I'm resting. Honey. I'm very, very resting. You went in Luke resting. real heavy. You open your Bible to Luke tonight, you might start crying. You was in Luke Girl, real heavy. Girl, don't do me season. like that. Don't, don't listen, tell me where listen, to go listen, there. You can't run away from it. But it's important that these conversations continue to be right. Had because these were the conversations we overheard when our uncles was playing right. dominoes or right. just sitting around outside and stuff like yep. that. Yep. And I'm glad that we were able to have that and reminisce on the things that were instilled and indoctrinated in us because I don't want to see it die. Me My either. daughter's 13 nope. and she know how to pray and anoint herself and everything. And I'm so proud of that. Because, and I, right. I don't make her wear no skirt. She go to church as herself. And she's, right. she's an artsy fartsy weird kid, but she loves the Lord. And I think it's important that people see people who look different. Right. See, I look, my aesthetic people would think I'm a rapper before they would think I'm an exactly. intercessor or a preacher. Exactly. Yep, they'd be like, and what? And I think it's important that people see that. And I love y'all for letting this happen this evening. Oh, I really and, and, and it wasn't nothing but the spirit because we right. had so many other topics, you know, and I was like, okay, we're going to talk about Easter, you know, right. and I just know, I love when God show up. You know, I love when he, you know, a lot of people be ready for the craziness, and I do too. I'm always for it. But I know, I know my spirit, and I know who I am, and I know my calling mm -hmm. i'm just uh you know i'm still trying to figure it out <laughs> you know but i know god you know what i'm saying i know the spirit That's right. you know and i know that it's a street preaching that i have i don't i'm, I'm not gonna be like what you used to see. That's right. It's, it's what I'm going. I'm coming from my experience and my and walk. And that's the thing. And that's what people want to hear. They don't want to hear that. Oh, hold it. Oh, for I, the, how, you, they, how can you tell me how to get through it if you've never if been you through it? If you ain't never been through, through it, right? You know what I'm saying? So I, we that's right. Got, the Bible I, says we overcome by our testimony. There testimony, we go. There we go. them to testimony is experience. Exactly. Same thing. Exactly. So I don't want to hear nobody that read. The experience. Right. I, I want to know the experience, sir. Right, right. I want to meet that person. I don't want to know that. And you that's who this. needs to take over the church, the people who have experienced yeah, things. Because yeah. I can listen to you and appreciate you telling me how to do things if I know that you have done it. Right. If you haven't done it, you Would just you, tell you doing the same thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna yeah, go look at the book too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, to be honest I with you, I'm not, I, right? I'm not. I'm just saying. People respect people who have been through things right. and can tell me how to get through right. them. Right. You get what I'm saying? Some, versus a theory that right. somebody may have, well, this right. could right. happen, but this, no, this happened. Right. And this how I got and, out And of. the Lord showed you me know, this and way God through And God showed it. me how to get through this right. and, when, and when I heard his voice, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So we got to get back to let folk know that the voice still speaks. Right. God still speaks, you know, and I don't care how how bad of a cuss I am. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know, we cuss. God, no. we know your Bible. God, Peter was no. a cusser, baby. <laughs> Peter, 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 you got a Peter spirit, yeah, baby. Yeah, Peter, say Peter. Peter. Peter and me, and I love him. I'm, I'm goddamn. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Right. I'm going to be, I'm, you know what I'm saying? But I, but I know. And I and I'm not gonna judge, I'm not gonna show you wrong. I'm not gonna tell you right. Don't get mad because I cuss. Right. Don't get mad because you don't see me dressed like this. Mm -hmm. Don't get mad because I still I, you know I'm not of the world. I still live here. Right. That's I gotta right. I gotta accommodate. Right. Don't don't get it twisted. I don't want to be oxide or de ostracized right. and put out of the picture. And then we really not listening to you. You know, and then you're not listening to me. So you gotta stay. You know what I'm saying, Keith? So you gotta stay looking like. A rapper, right? Cause they not gonna approach you with your that church part. dress on. That's right. You got your that Bible part. in your hand with a uh, your, 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 your thick heels and the your skirt longer than the, the the street. You know what I'm saying? They ain't showing no skin. That part. They ain't nobody gonna walk up to you. Right. But if you look like me, I'm listening. Right. I'm talking. I'm for you. You know. So um, well, let's get back to the street preaching. You know what I'm saying? So um, uh, Kiso, whenever you ready, just call. Just say I'm pulling up. You win. I'm, de I'm definitely going to come down. If I had a guess, I'd I say, oh, excuse me, sir, you think you can come back another time. But, but <laughs> right. I, I got to. Or, or, <laughs> no, or you I'm, can sit here it's been and, a long time. And, and get here. You know, That's you right. just get with the program. You can stay, but you're going to have to. What you thought you were talking about, it ain't right. happening. You know what I'm saying? So this is the Shannon Jamie Show. Kiso, thank you so much for calling in. My you pleasure. Know, I, I love you, say, OG. I love you too, baby. Yes. So, hey, keep doing what you're doing. Yes. You know we're watching, right? we always watching. Believe that. I stay watching. I'm like, what the? 
That's right, 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 right. You know right. what I'm saying? Now, nothing. I Slick love what God. Slick Saint, she love you. Thank you a lot. Thank yes, you all the time. Yes, I appreciate love what God is doing I love in your life. Too. And he finna lift you up higher. So you know that keep some things are gonna be good for you because you are doing the right thing. This the Shannon Jackman show. We out of here. And I'm sorry. No, I ain't sorry. That's right. I'm glad <laughs> that the, we, we went in the direction that we went in because I didn't know nothing about what was gonna happen. So we're good. The Shannon Jackman show, y'all. I see y'all another Sunday. And um, Sunday fun day go fight. Hey, where the Easter eggs at? Y'all call them out real quick. The Shannon Jackman show. We out of here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, time to hit that club, y'all. Bella Flame. About to come in the club with IMG. My brothers are finna take y'all bitches. <laughs> yeah, oh, come on. Bella, yeah. with the screen when I enter. Oh. About shit, BBG, represent